new Suicide City album. Oh, it's it's hot fire. <laughs> no, it's something that we're really proud of, and honestly, uh, we did we weren't quite sure if it was good, if we were gonna release it. Um, if there was there was so much back and forth, and the thing is, like when we came out in uh, 2005, when we we came out came out of the gates just fucking burning rubber. Excuse my French. Sorry, my bad. <laughs> just burning rubber, rather, and. Um, and we went really hard. I mean, we went out with Otep, Mindless Self Indulgence. We've been out with War. We've been out with Taking Back Sunday. We uh, toured Brazil with MXPX. I mean, there's so many different things that we've done, um, and it just kind of all leads up to frenzy because that's our whole lives. Is just kind of you know, it involves Suicide City. We're fun. We're like party rock and roll, punk and roll. I like to call it, with metal sprinkles on top, and we're wild sea live, and we're. You know, all very interesting personalities, and it, and it really fits. So things have been really good. Like it came out of the gate. It came out uh, August fourth, August fifth. We did a, a packed out show, the Highline Ballroom here in New York City, and and things are good. We're all just stoked. We're doing a couple area shows, and we'll be out in November, December, and and may hopefully overseas next year, and and just really push out frenzy. But it won't take us as long as it did last time after not my year to put out another album. I and mean, we're working on stuff right now. So. So it's cool, it's exciting, you know, all right. Lots of stuff. Awesome. <laughs> awesome. Now, when you were in Kitty, you were on a major label. Uh, yeah, yeah. sort of, yes. Major label distribution. Okay. Yeah. Do you find that the major label acts or bands affiliated with major labels still have that community feel? No, I think the major label's dying, and they'll be dead probably within five to ten years. So I, I feel very strong about that. I, I think it's a new day and era, and it has been a new day and era, and there's nothing necessarily wrong with the music industry other than it's flat out effing broke. It is just the old models don't work. 360 deals aren't really working either, which was kind of the answer maybe around four, uh, four or five years ago. That's really not working. I really feel that if you do want to be in a band and if you do want to make music of your career, you're really going to have to start thinking outside the box. And I always tell bands, remember, you're in the business of being on tour and selling t-shirts. <laughs> and that's what's going to pay your bills, hopefully, you know, fingers crossed, and buy you a little Taco Bell at the end of the night, who knows. But um, I, I just, uh, the major label thing, I, you know, I, I think they, they had so many opportunities. I mean, even from Napster, they've had so many opportunities to embrace, you know, the online digital, you know, the digital world, I should say, rather. I really embrace it and become one with it and, and figure out new ways of, of holding hands with it instead of, like, suing grandmothers out in Budfart nowhere who are 82 years old and they downloaded a bunch of Frank Sinatra. I mean, what is that, what is that really going to do? You're going to put her in jail or make her pay fines at the Wuhan? I mean, it's a joke, you know? And the thing is that when you're a musician and in a band, the, the, the more you start embracing that, the less you're like not bitter about that and you're like, you know what, this is the way it is and, and I love writing music, I love being creative, so I'm going to roll with it and that's what's going on. So I, yeah, I think the major label is a joke. I said it here and I said it loud and proud. I do. I just think it's another way for you, for labels, major labels especially, to take more money out of my pocket than necessary. I'll tell you this right now, we, we signed with the End Records uh, the, the beginning of this year and they have been great with us, they're very passionate about all the bands that we've worked with so that's why it's, it's a great home for us and I'm just speaking from personal experience. Um, and I also like, you know, when we signed the deal I joked with my friends, I was like yeah, we just signed our stimulus package. And that's what I really felt that it was, it was a stimulus package. Because it was like, cool, we got some chunk change to do this and maybe do that. But really, it was to have to really start having a team uh, behind you to help you out, especially when it comes to marketing, it comes to press. Uh, it was really getting a team behind you. It was, I feel like it's almost more of a partnership than um, someone totally taking all of our money <laughs> for our songs and running to the hills with it. I feel like it's way more of a partnership, and I really think that's how maybe major labels and um, other, I think other larger indie labels really caught on to that. Like, you know what, we want to work with this band. They're selling a couple of thousand CDs out on their own. But how, how can we all get happy in this situation? Thank you so much, and check out Suicide City, suicidecity.com, myspace.com, Suicide City. Find us on Twitter, Suicide City NYC. And I'm Jen City, and I love you, even though I don't know.